Alright guys, so today I'm going to be showing you a, a really cool card trick. I actually uploaded this one a couple days ago, but you know, I left it under the guise of being a card control. So this was actually invented by somebody named Ed Marlowe, and I'm not going to be teaching it the same way. Okay, this is going to be a little bit different pattern, but essentially the idea kind of sprouts from his whole card control thing. But uh, in reality, this is what, you know, you can actually, you can use this trick for, like I said, a little betting routine. So you can take the deck. You know, you show your spectators that the deck is actually going to be mixed up and that you have no breaks. You can bet them whatever amount of money you want, let's say like five bucks or whatever. You bet them, you say, all right, five bucks, I can cut to an ace from a shuffled pack. And just like this, you guys, you can come over to the deck, show the spectators that you can cut to an ace from a shuffled pack. There's no other aces around it. It was completely random. And then if you want to, you can go ahead and do like a double, uh, double or nothing routine. Where you can go over and again, you can cut to one of the aces and again you show them that the cards are just randomly in there and now after you get to two aces it does get a little more difficult so your chances go down of cutting to an ace so you could do a triple or nothing but the chances of you hitting an ace are remarkably less than if you had two aces same thing goes for if you have the last ace so the last ace i you know in the the way ed marlowe does a trick is he actually does cut to all four aces but if you're doing a gambling routine and you get this far, there's no reason to go to a fourth card because then you obviously have a lot bigger chance of wow. messing up. So you could do, you could go for four cards and get the fourth ace, but like I said, the chances do dwindle. Um, anyways, guys, I'm going to be showing you how to do this trick. Right. All right, so I'm going to be teaching this trick two ways. One's going to involve the Pharaoh Shuffle and the other one isn't, uh, but the version with the Pharaoh Shuffle is going to look a lot better and it's going to be a lot more believable to your spectator. So... Um, like I said before, this isn't really a card control, gonna, this is going to be a card control trick, but this is going to be more of a gambling routine. So you start off with the four aces on top of the deck, but all you have to do is shuffle up the cards, leaving a nice fat chunk on top, and that's going to be the four aces. You know, you do not want to disturb the order, you want to leave these on top. So you go ahead, you do that, and then what you want to do, if you're doing the Pharaoh Shuffle version, all you have to do is take just around a third of the deck. So the top half is going to be a lot, uh, a lot thinner than the bottom half. Now what you're going to do is go halfway down the bottom half of the deck and that is actually going to be where you start your pharaoh. So you want to make sure the aces are perfectly pharaohed, but essentially here's what it looks like. The four aces are in this bottom packet right here. And with the top packet, this is going to be what you need to remember. So you see the top packet is this thick. This is how deep you're going to be cutting into the deck when you're looking for the four aces. So you go ahead, you push these together, you commit this to memory, you know, all right, the cards are this deep into the deck. You go ahead, square them up, and from this point, this is what's going to happen. So you make sure that you show your spectators that you have no breaks. So that's one of the biggest points. You want to let them know there's no breaks. Um, all the cards are the same. Like there's no crips or bends or whatever, but essentially you have the deck on the table. You bet them whatever money you know you want to. So from here, all you have to do is remember how thick that packet was and then the good part about this trick is that right off the bat, you have a really, really good chance of hitting one of those aces because you have the aces with the Ferris Shuffle laid out. Um, you have like an eight card margin of error, essentially. So you have the ace, random card, ace, random card, ace, random card. And you're going to cut that deep into the deck. And like I said, guys, you have a very good chance of cutting to an ace because even if you don't hit it, you're going to pick up the deck. The ace is either going to be here or the ace is going to be there. So... Like I said, right off the bat, you got a good chance. And from here, what you want to do to keep that order of ace, random card ace, you have to pick up the bottom card, show them that, you know, the ace was just by itself, was completely random, and you reverse the order, making sure that single card now goes on top. And you want to do that as smoothly as possible without making a big deal about it. Um, and again, you can repeat the routine, but it's going to, your chances of finding an ace are going to go down each time. So if you put the first ace, this one is really easy to get. The second ace, you do the same exact thing. You remember how thick that packet was. You go down into the deck. You can cut to it. And again, you do the whole routine. So there's no other aces around it. Completely random. And then again, uh, the, the last two cards are going to be a little more difficult. You can cut deeper. But essentially, you're doing the same routine of cutting to the card. So like I said, the chances of you finding the, the second two aces is going to go down. But uh, you can do the triple or nothing. You can do the double or nothing. And now, when I said this is more of a gambling routine... You do not really want to go to find the fourth ace necessarily because that one, you do have to get it right on the money. You do have to actually cut to that ace, but you do have a general idea of where it is in the deck. So that's what you're looking for. And uh, right now I'm going to show you guys how to do this without doing the Pharaoh Shuffle. All right, so this is the second way of doing it. Now, 
I really would not prefer this only because you can't really do any real shuffling so the effect isn't as strong but you can still kind of practice the cutting I guess um, let's say if you don't know the Ferris shuffle so essentially um, you take around let's say like 15 cards 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and it does not matter that much uh, you know the exact order of these cards you just want to have a little chunk just like this this is gonna be the chunk that you're gonna be able to cut to actually let's make this like 17 so we had two cards like I said it doesn't matter you just want to have a nice chunk and then you want to take one two three four random cards and you're gonna interlace these with the aces. So you take ace, random card, an ace, a random card, ace, random card, ace, random card. So just like that, that is gonna be the same exact effect that you would get with the fair shuffle of these cards. You still have that whole eight card margin of error type thing. You leave this on top of the deck and then you stick that 17 card portion on top of it as well. So from here, it's the same exact story, same exact routine as last time. You go ahead and you can cut to one of the aces straight off the top of the deck just like that and you have the aces loaded up same exact routine so I hope this trick works out for you guys make sure to practice it and uh, that's kind of it for this video hope you guys like it and as always thanks for watching